So we're starting our rough HVAC right now. That's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC as some people call it. What we have is a dual pack on our roof, which means that we're getting air conditioning and heating from the same unit. That dual pack is then running down into the house through a 10 inch duct. And from there, that 10 inch duct is going to split off into a couple different uh, eight inch ducts, actually four different eight inch ducts is what we're looking at in this room right here. So right now you're gonna see us uh, mount the cans and run the ducting for that eight inch material. First cans in. Blocking this in, it's just basic framing. We're using 16s, you know, the heavier nails. But for putting the ducts in, we don't need 16s, so we just grab the roof nail gun, hang it down about a half inch low. Done. There's the first can we put in. This is just set in place. It needs to be actually ran and not kinked, but it's there for now. And up here, you can see that we have our holes drilled uh, in the upstairs, in the second story, where uh, all of these ducts are going to pass through. So in addition to these two that we showed you, we have another one blocked out there, another one blocked out there, and into the master bedroom and bathroom, we have a handful of them uh, in the various rooms, the laundry room. Here we have another one pre-done. And as doing more, we're gonna take these upstairs set them where they need to go. Now we're upstairs. There it is. And here's the can for that hole. Obviously it's gonna go through the bottom. Yeah, just like that. Now that we have all those boxed out, I'm gonna show you the material. Those bags have all of the ducting in it. And then here you see the components. The first pieces are going at the end of the ducts and those are for teeing off other ducts. Here you're going to see my dad put it together. He starts with this goop. He applies it to the inside of that inner duct all the way around. And then he carefully slips that inner duct around the end of that box and to secure it in place, he will take a zip tie and pull it very tight in order to keep it in place. He's happy, as you can tell. Now, we are going to show the guys that were actually running all of this ducting. Uh, we were in a little bit over our heads as far as the timeline on everything that was going on. So my dad enlisted some help from these gentlemen and you can see them run all of the ducting across. It's quite a nest of nastiness, but it all does make sense. In the other room, you see this can being prepared. This is a 12 inch can for return air. And after the can is installed, here's what it looks like. So right now we are standing on the second story, obviously. And running under us is our HVAC system as far as all the ducting goes. We have one 12 inch duct, that's the one that you see all the way on the right, that feeds this room that we're in uh, on the second story. It splits off into four ducts, feed air up. And on the left of that you see two 10 inch ducts. Those are what feed the bottom story. Those split off and all the vents give air to that master bedroom. And the last two on the very far left, that's your return air. That's where it pulls the air back into the system and where it filters that air. So here's one of the future floor vents. You should really cover these because all sorts of crap gets in there. So we just put a piece of plywood over it, screw it down, because they're gonna be painting and drywalling and putting up lights and all sorts of other things. And that's about all there is to it for HVAC. As you can see, there is a mess of ducting, but each duct goes to its respective can, and then the other ends of those ducts are all collected together, which leads to the dual pack. Speaking of dual pack, that means we are getting both heating and air conditioning in one unit, and this unit is self-contained on the roof. Now this is more electrical than HVAC, but to show you how we're finishing it off, we're mounting this box, putting a hole through it with the pass-through so that we can run some wire into it. My dad then strips off 
the insulator for this wire. Isolates the conductors, cuts off the extra conductor. Um, this is 240 volts, so two hots and a ground. That strips those off. Mounts the ground to the chassis and then inserts each conductor into its respective position. And that takes care of power. After that, we put the cover on it and this little piece that connects all the electrical. And we close the box and look at that. Box is ready to go. Last part is sealing it up, which we use this sealant for. Now, all we need is our tool pack. That will be coming very soon, but we'll hang on for now. Please check out other videos of this build, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.